Shalom, this is Yah is Magnified, and I'm back with another informative video. Today's video is titled, Tax Refund Offset Slash Passport Denial. But, before I tackle this subject, as always, I must state for the record, I'm not a lawyer, I do not practice law, and I do not pretend to. All my videos are for informational and educational purposes only. They're all facts and all truth, nothing more, nothing less. So with that being said, I would like for you all to hit that like button. And also, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And also, hit that notification bell so you all can be notified as I'm dropping these power videos. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so for all those who have been following me for quite some time, you all know that I stress and I will continue to stress that whenever you receive documents from the agency and or court, you must do what? You must respond back, okay? Respond back by doing what? By contesting the things that are stated in the document. Your failure to respond back is a form of consent, or your failure to contest is also a form of consent, okay? Because he who does not what? He who does not deny admits. So by your failure to deny, that's your form of agreement, or that's a form of admittance, okay? So, again, that's why I always stress that you all must respond back, okay? So now, what we have on the screen is a document that my uncle received after we contested the tax refund offset slash passport denial that the agency was trying to issue upon my uncle, okay? As we go over this document, we're going to go over the actual documents that the agency uses or they sends out to you all in order for you all to receive proper due process or procedural due process. Why do they send notices? Because they have to send you notice. They must give you a right to contest, okay? If you fail to contest after they give you notice, then you waived your legal duty to speak, okay, or to defend, all right? So now, as we go over this document again, then we're going to go over those notices that they usually send out pertaining to the tax refund offset and passport denial, okay? So, let's pick this up at the upper left-hand corner where it states NYC, again, which is short for New York City, and we're coming from the Human Resources Administration, Department of Social Services, as you all can see, it was sent to my arc, highlighted in yellow, Mr. Ometa. And the date of the notice is October the 17th, 2024, which is again, this month, this year. And also, the case number I crossed out. But now, let's read the document, cause, because this document is pertaining to what? The final support collection unit determination of your request for administrative review of the certification of support owed for tax refund offset slash passport denial. Then it states what? Dear Mr. Ometa. Then it reads, the administrative review that you had requested for the case identified above has been completed. Based on our review of the documentation and or evidence provided, it states what? Highlighted in yellow, the X, it states that your contest has been what? Upheld. Then it states, as such, your case will not be certified for tax refund offset slash passport denial. Why is that, guys? Because he simply sent his responses in. He did what? Sent his documentation and evidence challenging what? Their right to garnish his taxes or uh, put an offset on his taxes and to deny his right to a passport, okay? As you all can see, you all can pause it and read the rest, okay? And as you all can see, it was sent from the supervisor to support collection unit, all right? So now, let's go to the, uh, the actual notice that they sent out, give you all the opportunity to contest, okay? So, let's go there. Okay, so this is the exact replica of the notice that the Child Support Enforcement Agency sends out before they what? Issue a tax refund offset or denial of passport, okay? So we're going to go over this document so we all get better understanding of what's going on. So let's pick this up in the middle of the page, very top in the box. First word highlighted in red states what? Notice. Why is that? Because they have to put you on notice in order to do what? in order to satisfy procedural due process, as I stated in the beginning of the video. And we're going to prove this as well, okay? So, after they give you notice, then they will act on those notices if you refuse to respond, okay? But now, let's continue reading. It states what? Notice regarding child support you owe. So, this notice is already making claims, okay? This notice claims that you owe this alleged child support, okay? So, now, you have three options. The first option, you can simply admit that you owe the child support and pay it, or you can simply deny, which is the second option, that you owe the child support, or 
you can do the third option by what? Remaining silent, which brings you again back to the first option, stating that because you remain silent, that's your form of agreement or consent that you owe the alleged debt. Okay? To further prove that, let's continue reading. It states again, notice regarding child support you owe and certification for tax refund offset slash passport denial. Then it reads, as of August 31st, 2014, our records show that you owe, again, highlighted in red because they're already making a claim, that you owe support in the amount shown on the special notice. The law says that we may certify this amount to the state and federal government to offset all or part of your state, federal, or city tax refunds to reduce or satisfy the amount owed. So again, that's the purpose of them sending a notice. Okay, but now let's go to the next paragraph. It clearly states what they will do. It states, we will certify your name and the support you owe to the state and federal government on or after December 31st, 2014 for tax refund offset and passport denial and other federal administrative processes without what? Further notice to you unless you either. So they're basically telling you, if you don't do any of these things, they will no longer give you any further notice and they will do what? They will offset your taxes and they will deny your passport. And it's just that simple, guys. That's why it's imperative that you all respond back. But let's continue on. Unless you either do number one. Let's, so what's number one? Make full payment of the support you owe, which is what? A form of consent, an agreement that you owe the debt. Two, challenge the certification, okay, which is the second option I gave you guys. The challenge means to deny. It states, challenge the certification by making a written request for an administrative review, okay? And then they give you the options on certain grounds that you can use in order to challenge the certification. Bullet point, the first bullet point states what? You are not the person identified on the special notice, okay? The second bullet point states that there is no court order for support. The third bullet point states that the information on the special notice about the amount of support you owe is incorrect. And the fourth bullet point states that what? There is a court order providing that the support you owe is not to be certified for the tax refund offset process. Okay? Those are just a few points that you all can address when challenging the uh, certification of the tax refund slash passport denial process. Okay? But now, let's read the next paragraph. It states, you may use the enclosed what? Request for administrative review form to submit your written request for an administrative review. So they even provide the form for you all to fill out to request the review. We're going to go over that next, okay? So now let's go over the form for you to get a better understanding of what's going on. Why? Because they're trying to satisfy due process. I hope that you guys don't understand what's going on and you guys do not deny or challenge it. And by failing to do so, they put you forward and what? Certifying the debt, now you owe that debt, or they're placing the burden of the debt on you. And by them placing the debt on you, that gives them the right to what? Refuse your passport. Now, let's go to page two. Let's go. Okay, so this is the second page, okay? The second page is simply the form letting you know how to perfect the administrative review process, okay? So now, let's read it top, very top, highlighted in red. It states what? Information about the administrative review process. Now, let's read the first paragraph. You may request an administrative review if you believe that you do not owe the support amount. Okay? So that's the first thing you can do. Okay? Now let's go to the second sentence highlighted in yellow. It states, if you wish to request an administrative review, you may do so by using the form on the back of this page and by what? Completing the following three steps. Okay? So they basically let you know how to perfect your uh, administrative review process in order for you to get your review heard and everything else like that. But let's continue. One. Place a check mark in the appropriate box identifying your defenses, okay? Number two, provide your New York City case identifier. So they simply just want the case number on the notice as well. Then three states what? Submit the completed form and documentation to the address shown at the top of the special notice. And it's just that simple, guys, okay? So now let's read this next paragraph. It states, after you send in your written request for an administrative review and documentation, we will review your support collection unit, uh, SCU, records, and any documents you provide to decide if your claim is correct. That's all you want to do, guys, okay? After you send everything in, they're going to review it and they're going to let you know if your claim is correct. So after we send the documents in, challenging it, 
They found out that what we said was correct, so they end up doing what? Stopping the denial of the passport and the tax refund offset. And it's just that simple, guys. By what? By contesting and challenging. But now, let's go down to the next paragraph. It states, you will receive a written decision from us saying whether or not we agree with you. And it's just that simple. Those are the three steps of the process, okay? You all can read the remaining information. This is going into a little bit further more detail, but... I'm just giving you a simple way of breaking this thing down without having to go through all of that. So now, let's go to the third and final page that's attached to the order, which is the what? The form that's attached. Let's go to that form. Okay, so again, this is an exact replica of the request for administrative review in the form that you must fill out pertaining to the tax refund offset slash passport denial, okay? So let's pick this up at the top. Again, in the box highlighted in red, it states what? Request for administrative review of the certification of support O for tax refund offset slash passport denial. So this form is clearly letting them know that you are now requesting administrative review. But let's go to the first highlighted area in bold. It states what? I believe that I do not owe the amount of support indicated on the special notice. And what? I wish to challenge the certification based on the defenses and documentation checked below and on the documentations enclosed. So again, the first one is to do what? I tell y'all, the first line of defense is to do what? Is to deny. So number one is to deny. So that's why I say, I do not owe. I do not owe this a form of saying, I deny on the debt, okay? Let's continue on. You can check one, it states what? I'm not the person identified as owing. And then provide other identification if you have. Or two, you can check two. I'm not under court order to pay support, if that applies to you. And check other and identify that as well. Or three, if three applies to you, the amount shown as due is incorrect if that's what you want to fill out. Or four, you can also check four. The uh, state of New York court order of support includes the signing of arrears. So again, you can also check that as stated in the previous uh, information on a previous page that is basically highlighting grounds that you can use in order to challenge the request or the certification of the alleged debt in order for them to issue a tax refund offset or passport denial. Now let's go to five. Five simply states what? I'm requesting a conference to discuss this matter. You can check that as well. So you can do what? State your arguments so the, uh, and you can uh, preserve any objections that you have in case they try to proceed forward and still move on to garnishing uh, 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 or offsetting your tax refund and denying your passport, okay? And then you have to complete and be submitted by and then you just fill out the uh, you know, case identifier, print the name, your signature, the county, the cases, and, and the date. That's it, guys, okay? So, uh, I hope this video be a help to a lot of you guys that's dealing with this. You know, I'll be doing more videos, have more testimonies coming soon, but that's all I'm going to do for today. If you all need my help, hit me up in my email at yahismagnified at gmail.com. Let's get this right wisdom, this right knowledge, and this right understanding. More power videos coming, more testimonies coming. Just stick around, guys, as we proceed forward, okay? Like, share, and subscribe again, guys. Get these videos out here so we can get more people to get this truth. With that being said, I say shalom.